Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you a way how we can load configuration for our Blazor applications from a web API. We may need this approach when we rely on a database to provide configuration information. So I've created a new Blazor WebAssembly project. I have clicked the ASP.NET Core hosted checkbox so that an API and a clause library is getting added to our solution. In the clause library, I'm adding a new clause. I call it tenant. I mark it here as public, otherwise the access modifier would be internal and we couldn't use it from the API or the client. Now it's a very simple clause, uh, it has two properties, the first one indicating the name of the tenant and it's of type string and the second property is of type string array and here we store the corporate identity in form of colors of the tenant. Now somewhere we want to retrieve the tenant information. Um, so we are going to create a new controller, I call it configuration controller. This controller will only have one action method. I'm here explicitly defining the HTTP method by using the uh, attribute. We will return an action result and I, ca I call it get configuration. Here I'm returning a JSON result and because JSON result inherits action result this all works. Now we have to pass in an object that is then getting serialized to JSON and this object is of type tenant. We have to import the Blazor configuration uh, shared namespace here. Now here probably you would load the information from a database by, for example, using the uh, little misspelling here, tenant. By using the user property on the HDB context to then get the ID of the current logged in user, and with this ID. We could then load uh, his or her configuration in the form of the tenant. So just to be clear, uh, in this case we um, yeah, have configuration uh, saved in, in the form of a tenant which indicates the, the current uh, yeah, organization that the user belongs to. So now somewhere we actually have to load this here, uh, this yeah, configuration information here we are registering or we are adding a new HTTP client to the inversion of control container. It already has the right base address set. So let's just reuse this HTTP client. To make this work, we first have to build the service provider and then we can say get required service. Here pass in the generic type parameter. Um, to get the HTTP client that we have registered uh, up here. And then I'm using the configuration property uh, to add a JSON stream. So this stream will be added to the configuration. And then I'm calling the getStreamAsync method. In here I'm passing the request URI that then is getting appended to the base address that we retrieve here and what was it called I think configuration now let's go into the index page so that we then can use our configuration now in here I have to import the namespace extension extensions configuration using dependency injection to inject an object that implements the iConfiguration interface and on this object uh, there is a indexer defined, so we can just use it as we know uh, yeah, from all types that have an indexer defined. Uh, so I type in name. So let's have a look. We see the name of the tenant is getting displayed. Now if we want to display its colors, we have to add some code. So I'm adding a for each loop here. 
or color in now first we have to get a section which is named uh, colors and then we have to get uh, the string array out of it and then we can just display the colors now you maybe start seeing uh, the downsides of this approach I mean of course it's it's also dependent on your way of coding but it's quite some code here to retrieve the colors and here we see the colors are getting shown now yeah I've spoken about it here you have quite some code there's one way or maybe there yeah of course there are multiple ways how we can uh, uh, just streamline the whole thing a bit here I'm showing you one possible way and that's adding a new object of type tenant to the inversion of control container now here I'm calling add scope they could also choose add singleton it, it doesn't uh, matter in, in the case of blazor web assembly now in here we have to pass in or there's, there are different overloads the overload I'm using takes a funk i service provider and object so funk service provider as an argument and an object it, that it returns that is then getting added to the inversion of control container and the object will be of type tenant now again I have to import a namespace maybe intellisense is helping out so first I'm initializing it or instantiating an object and then here I'm returning it so just to be 100% clear uh, also from my side here I'm passing in a funk that takes in an iService provider and returns uh, the tenant object and some, uh, somehow we have to populate its values and I can do this by calling the mind method on the configuration and then here I can just put in the, the object I want the configuration to bind to now here in index uh, the whole thing is a bit streamlined so I can say inject tenant current tenant now of course I have to import namespace to the class library and then the whole thing works a bit smoother at least uh, for my feeling colors and then displayed So an item, yeah, and the result is, is the same. So the most important thing to make this all work is that here in the class library, we have defined uh, a new object that is then getting returned um, here from the configuration controller. Now, of course, here you would may inspect uh, the claims that the user processes, and then according to the claims, load data from the database. We're not doing this. We are just here returning a hard-coded tenant that is then getting added so its JSON format is getting added to the configuration in here and to retrieve the configuration we are using the HTTP client that previously got added to the uh, where is it? oh yeah here to the uh, inversion of control container and then here we are populating uh, the current tenant that we are then again adding to the inversion of control container uh, by the, the configuration um, values that we are um, adding here to the configuration and we load it here by this uh, call to the API. Thank you very much for your attention.